Dr. Gundry, how much fruit can I eat? And how can I tell if it's in season? I get those questions every day. And I understand fruit is delicious. And now that summer is here, I want to talk about everyone's favorite topic, summer fruit. But before we get into today's incredibly delicious topic, I've got a question for you. Is there anything health related that you're dying to know more about? Maybe the secrets to longevity, the latest diet trend, or that one weird ingredient I talk about in my books. Whatever your burning questions are, this channel is for you. So go ahead and leave a comment below with your questions. I'll make sure to use one of those comments as inspiration for my videos in the future. But for now, let's get back to summer fruit. I'll give you a quick rundown on what's in season in just a moment. But first, I want to answer the most popular question I get about fruit. How much of it can I eat? I understand why people ask, because in season and in moderation are vague. But the basic answer is treat fruit like a really rich dessert because it's nature's candy. That means don't eat it every day and don't eat a ton of it. I suggest no more than one cup serving a couple times a week. To be clear, that's a bowl about this big, or depending on the time of year, a small apple, nectarine or orange. Go figure, nature created the perfect built-in serving size with fruit. With some fruits at least, you're gonna do a little more work with things like berries. Or, if you insist on eating fruit every day, consider one to two berries the serving size and have that much. So, that answers how much to have, but this time of the year, what fruits should you have? And are there any summer fruits you should avoid? Well, I'll start with the bad news, so that I can end this video on a delicious note. Yes, there are definitely fruits you should avoid, even during the summer. And unfortunately, they're some of the most popular fruits out there. First up, melon. Unfortunately, summer faves like cantaloupe and honeydew are on the no list year round. That's because they're new world crops and your body simply hasn't evolved to process them efficiently. Also on the list, tropical fruits like ripe mango, banana, pineapple, and papaya. Though green mango, banana, and papaya are okay. They're all incredibly high in sugar when ripe, beyond what any of us should be eating. But that's the end of the bad news. Let's get to the stuff you want to hear about, the fruits you can and should be eating in moderation this time of year. Starting with the stone fruit. That's peaches, plums, nectarines, cherries, and apricots, among others. Yes, I said cherries. Contrary to popular belief, they're a stone fruit, not a berry. They're just really little ones. And this time of year, you can go for any of the stone fruits. But if you want the most nutritional bang for your buck, I suggest going for cherries or red and purple plums. That dark color means they're loaded in health-boosting polyphenols. Now, most stone fruits come into season in mid-late July and stay in season until late August. Your best bet for finding perfectly in-season stone fruit is to check out a local farmer's market or look for the local label at your local grocery store. And remember, buying those peaches right now while they're in season and freezing them does not mean you can use them later in the year. You've got to eat that seasonal fruit in season too. Now, stone fruit isn't the only type of fruit available this season. Let's talk about berries. Because when in season, they're some of the healthiest sweet treats on the planet. But remember, they're still nature's candy. So make sure you treat them that way. Now, when we're talking summer berries, we're talking strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries, to name a few. But they're not all in season at the same exact time. Strawberries are ripe late spring, early summer. Yes, even though you see them on the store shelves all year round, you should only be buying them in the late spring or early summer. Bonus points if you find them at the farmer's market, so you know they're grown locally. Now, blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries come into season a little later. 
In the most of the United States, we're talking July or even later. And when you see those berries at the farmer's market, or depending on your area, on shrubs in the wild, enjoy them. Just remember that moderation. Now, as we get later in the summer, depending on where you live, it may also be time for apples and pears, but not until late August, or early September, which technically is still summer. Although, if you find unripe pears a bit early, feel free to enjoy them while they're green. There's a great compound in pears that boosts longevity. So green pears are A-OK -okay year round. Also on the yes list, no matter what, avocados. You know how they say an apple a day keeps the doctor away? Well, the phrase should have been an avocado a day keeps the doctor away because they're so incredible for your health. And when it comes to avocados, go ahead and have one every single day. Don't worry about moderation. But with stone fruit, berries, and ripe pears and apples, treat them like candy and only have a little a week. Because I'm Dr. Gundry, and I'm always looking out for you.